Hey everybody, Pedro here for Adafruit, and today we're going to be checking out 3D printing and metal with ColorFab's new line of metal composite materials. So today, we're going to be sharing how to print, as well as some polishing techniques with a tumbler to get you some fantastic looking metal prints. Copper fill and bronze fill are metal powder particles mixed with PLA to bring you prints that look like they were casted. The new metal filaments print excellent in all the open source 3D printers we offer in the Adafruit shop. Temperatures for printing are the same as PLA with no heated bed required. Printing at high resolutions of 100 microns works great and is recommended for making models easier to polish. Be sure to take care when priming the nozzle as the filament can maintain its heat because it's, well, metal. We're happy to say that it prints excellent on both Bowden and direct drive extruders with no modifications required. We printed these 3D scans using 230C with two shells. If your print is more delicate, you might want to bump up the shells to three or four so that it can survive the tumbler. Check out the complete print settings and full guide on the Adafruit learning system. Feel free to play with retraction settings, but as you'll soon see, stringy bits are very easy to clean up. Of course, prints with no islands like these selfie busts will print without too much cleanup. Fresh off the build plate, these prints look more like clay than anything metal. The stringy bits are super easy to remove. You can simply use your fingers to rub off any bits and smooth out the prints. A hobby knife can be used to speed up the process. If your prints look super stringy, don't fear. Remember that the tumbler will smooth out a lot of the outer shell of the print. Even this super stringy dragon looks great after a bit of cleanup. Copper fill is pretty strong as seen in these bend tests. It took quite a bit of pressure to break our Raspberry Pi case and actually took quite a bit of force to bend back before it snapped into two. Next up, it's time to really bring out the metal shine with a small tumbler. This small three pound tumbler from Lower Tone supports prints that are about 90 millimeters tall by 85 millimeters wide. For the medium, we'll be using brass metal screws. Use different size screws so that they can smooth out smaller details on the prints. Here we're using double zeros, number twos, fours, and 10 size screws. Obviously, don't use bigger screws for smaller prints after you have your screw sizes ready, carefully place the print inside of the barrel and begin tumbling. Just make sure not to over tighten the lid. Remember that smaller prints can take about six hours to look really shiny, while larger objects with a lot of detail can take up to 36 hours of tumbling to get a very polished look. Avoid getting dust on your hands by being sure to use gloves to remove your prints after it's tumbled as the screws grind together and create metal particles. You'll definitely want to periodically check on your print to make sure it's still in one piece. Here the dragon didn't make it all in one piece, but it's easy to glue back together later. Use a small brush to clean off the metal dust from the screws grinding. Finish it off by using a shop towel to clean and polish off the remaining dust into the print. And after about a day and a half of tumbling, this selfie bust looks like it was casted. The screws really do an excellent job of smoothing out the layers while bringing out the metal shine. Other methods like steel wool or sandpaper really bring out PLA's chalky white color, totally ruin the polished look. And so there you have it, that's Copper Fill from ColorFab. We carry Copper Fill and Bronze Fill in the Adafruit shop. We think it's awesome for artwork, jewelry, cases, and of course, selfie busts. So what would you print in copper? Let us know in the comments below and maybe we'll print it in our live 3D printing show. You can watch it every Thursday at 3 p.m. ET. And until then, see you guys next week.